Welcome to episode number six of the best laptop setups. Quick shout out to Lorenzo from episode number five because you're going home with a $75 gift certificate to Amazon. Today's winner will also receive the exact same thing. So make sure to get your votes in on Discord. Also, if you're enjoying this style of video, the best laptop series in general, please hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. It lets me know and the algorithm know to continue this series. Now, before I show you some sweet laptop setups, I gotta talk about today's sponsor, Trend Micro. Trend Micro offers a premium security suite that does so much more than just protect you from viruses. Need a password manager? It's built in. Need to erase files so they can never be recovered? It's built in. Parental controls? That's built in too. My favorite feature is mute mode, which temporarily stops non-critical notifications so that I can focus on what I'm doing, and Wi-Fi protection by providing a secure VPN on a public Wi-Fi network. It works on all my devices, Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS with 24 seven support. It has so many features to choose from. Make sure to click on the link in the description down below to check out Trend Micro today. The first setup comes from HC. He's from Malaysia, and this is a very minimalistic and clean setup. A lot of you guys love minimalism, and this is a great example of it. Now the laptop he's using is nothing special. It's, it still works, it still has enough power for general productivity, but it's an ASUS S530U with 12 gigabytes of RAM, an i5 8th gen processor, which by the way, is eligible to be upgraded to Windows 11, and an MX150. The monitor is a 24 inch Samsung monitor, and the keyboard he's using, which is wireless, is a Coolmaster CK530 V2 with cherry red switches. The mouse is a Logitech G304, and the headset he's using is also by Cooler Master. It's the MH751. Now, he has this specific theme he's going for. He's calling it a, a rain design, and I like it, right? The monitor is on a stand, but because of that white RGB hitting the back of the wall, it makes the monitor look like it's floating. In fact, it makes it look like it's floating in the clouds. He has a little bit of accent lighting from the Ikea lamp that's attached to his desk, and it looks like he has a second lamp beside it in case he needs some extra light. There's headphones in case he needs to use it, and then he has like a little board on the back with a little plant with a bunch of holes. That board is great because you can attach stuff to it and it just keeps all the junk off your desk and stored in a nice location. Now, he does have a very general long black mouse pad going across the desk. I love those extra large mouse pads because it just provides you tons of space to move your hand around. But I don't know what this guy's cable management looks like because he never submitted it, right? Like, for all I know, underneath the desk could be a zoo. The second setup comes from Mohammed. He is a day trader and he's also studying. Now, this setup is not crazy, but if you step back and think about it, Kind of impressive considering how tiny this desk is and he was still able to make it look neat and organized. He has a monitor arm to hold up this big 24 inch ViewSonic monitor. And then instead of buying a laptop stand, which is what most people will do, he actually has a two in one and just flips the display so that he can avoid that extra cost. And it actually looks kind of neat. The only drawback to that is you see a couple of cables sticking out the side and you could probably could have cleaned this up by using a dongle. Now overall, it's functional and it works. You know, he has his Logitech MX Master Mouse, which is a great mouse by the way, and a Logitech K360 keyboard. And then if you look at the left side on the wall on that cork board he has there, which again, like the first person is a great idea because it keeps everything organized. He has his headphone stand, which is holding the Jabra 85H headphones. Now I reviewed those headphones back in the day and for the money, they are still great. They offer so much value for the price compared to the Sony's that are out there in the wild. Overall, a very clean and functional setup with a big large mouse pad to house the keyboard and mouse. A little cramped, but when you're tight in space, this is a great example of how to make things work. The third setup comes from Bijorn. He just finished his cardiologist training. Congratulations, by the way, that is huge. And he's trying to get back into gaming. And he went with a night kind of dark themed setup. And I feel like this goes very well with gaming. And I love the fact that he's not going too crazy with RGB all over the place. Now the laptop of choice is the HP Omen 15. It's the i7 10th gen model from last year with the RTX 2060 and 16 gigabytes of RAM. The monitor is 165 Hertz. It's the Asus Tough gaming monitor. It's a 25 inch monitor, which is fantastic for gaming. So if he ever upgrades his laptop down the road, he can use it for QHD gaming. 
The keyboard is a K1 V4. This is the Keychron. I've used this many times. It's a fantastic keyboard. And then he has his cables wrapped up in a coil that goes behind the desk. Now the mouse is the Razer Viper Ultimate, my personal favorite. I use this on like both my main computers. Such an awesome mouse. And his headset is a Logitech G Pro X wired headphone. On his desk clock, he has a iPad mini 2 that he uses to tell the time and probably as an additional display for, for other things. And a custom mouse pad, an MD custom mouse pad that spans the entire desk. This is also black, which goes with the overall theme, so it looks great and it gives him lots of space to move around his mouse. Now the laptop arm is the loop alloy. And I don't know how I feel about this, right? Cause the laptop is just up so high. It's actually above the monitor and just looks a little weird. I wish he had more space to put it at least at eye level or closed and, 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 and docked in a proper stand. Speakers, they're old creative SPS A350 speakers, which he probably just uses it for, for like scratch audio, but if he's doing anything hardcore, he's probably using those Logitech headphones. Just like the previous guy, he ain't showing me his uh, cable management. For all I know, there could be spaghetti everywhere. The last setup is from Fritz. He's located in the middle of Philippines and he's a software engineer. And I just love the look of this setup. It's not minimalistic, thank God. You know, there's just too many minimalistic setups on YouTube and sometimes contrast and organized chaos looks great on a desk. And I think Fritz did it very well because even though there's tons of knickknacks and things on his desk overall, it's clean and it matches. You know, he has paintings on the wall that, that act as accent pieces. He has uh, warm light bouncing off the drapes and the corners of his desk. It has this like black and white with, with yellows in it that just give it a rich, vibrant feel. Now the laptop of choice is the Acer Nitro 5. It's the eighth gen Intel processor, the i5, and it's paired with a GTX 1650. His monitor is an Acer Nitro. It's a 27 inch monitor, which he probably uses for gaming. And he also has a Samsung Tab A7 Lite that he primarily uses for Netflix and YouTube during work hours. So I'm assuming he brings this along with him when he's not at home. Now the speakers are a Logitech Z337. He actually uses two keyboards. One of them is the Techware B68. And the other one is a Keychron K4 V2. I actually really dig the look of the black and brown keyboard. I kind of like that pair of switches. It has a nice uh, wood vibe to it. The mouse is the Logitech G304 and his desk pad is a custom mouse pad from Zenith Pads with a black and white swirly theme going on it. And I think it adds a lot of character to his space. His mic is a Miano PM320 and the desk he's using it, which has a great wood vibe, is 150 by 75 centimeters and is custom made. Now it's hard to tell his cable management. You can tell some of the stuff is clamped underneath his desk. It looks like he has some sort of riser going on the back where he houses some of the cables. But if you look at the left hand corner, there's just cables spilling out everywhere. So. I think if he really wants to improve this setup, he's gonna have to be really specific with his cable management because I think it will take this setup to the next level. That wraps up today's best laptop setup video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to vote on my Discord server, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.